It's Friday. Welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are in the shop today uh, doing what we always do. Um, as I'm building this thing, remember that things are changing constantly in my brain as I'm building it, constantly. And the reason being is, is because I'm building it from nothing. I am using the doodle bug or doodle bug for inspiration, but as I'm building it, obviously, um, things are changing all the time. Come here for a sec, Jolene. Come here. <laughs> see the little, see the little mousey going. See the little mousey going. See the little mousey going. See. <laughs> He's trying to find a place to go. Watch it, sweetheart. Watch it, sweetheart. Anyways, we're we're changing all the time on this thing. Plans are changing full time. But as I have this outside construction going on you can see it going all the way around um, this piece here is going all the way around all the way around the outside of the truck thanks for all the comments on the wheels I will take some of them into consideration believe me uh, this is going all the way around the truck what has to happen now is <clears throat> I've got a piece tied in here I've got a piece tied in over there that hold that front in place it's not there's not a lot of strength there if I stepped I wouldn't want to step on that to be honest with you because it's not really that strong with just two pieces coming down but as I have the wheel wells like this and I have the all the way around what has to happen is is this outside construction has to be tied to um, what I got going on here the old uh, motorhome it has to be tied to that and what has to happen is you have to figure out just like I do I have to figure out where is the best place to tie this all in to make it secure. Um, this is the foundation of what's what I'm starting off with. The bottom piece is the foundation. So the foundation has to be tight and right in order for me to build a roof on it. Um, so what I'm what I've done is is I've used my uh, my brain and my time when I'm laying down watching TV, if I'm sitting there, if I'm whatever. If I'm driving to town and you're being quiet and you're doing you're doing your thing you use your brain and and that's what it's for uh, if you do not use it you lose it this here where I've got this tied in here we took some round water pipe and we uh, stuck that in there to keep that at 90 and a half because we got the top at 90 and a half we got this 90 and a half we want to keep everything square but now as we get everything square now I want to tie it to the truck it's just sitting on these two ladders going across the wheels and it's got two ladder or a ladder going across there that's holding the wheels it's kind of holding it in place 90 and a half at the top 90 and a half at the bottom but now i want to tie it to the truck so this is what i've done i've taken a piece of the one inch one eighth wall and went straight across just like i did with the water pipe but i bring it back two and a quarter inches on this side. And the reason I bring it back two and a quarter inches is because of the inside construction. If you want to come over here, sweetheart, we'll take a looky poop poo, just so everybody knows what's going on. This is the inside construction that we had to cut off to get the frame shortened. Now that I've put it back on, that construction's back on there and I use plate to plate that back onto the side of the frame um, to make it tight and right. So nothing's coming off that if I pull on it, whatever, bang on it, hit with a hammer. The inside construction has been welded back onto the frame. It's not going anywhere. Where this inside construction is, I would say, is the strongest part of the side of the body. There's no inside construction on this piece. It's strong, but it's not, it's not foundation strong. If you come back to this end, if you want to come back here, sweetheart, sweetie pie, Jolene's looking amazing today, as always. Oh, there's our little friend again. Look, he can't find, he can't figure out where he wants to go. He's one of the little hopping mice, hopping mice. This is the inside. This is the construction on the inside here, and this is holds the pivot point for um, the leaf springs, which we know is strong because that is the suspension. So what I did here is I measured out so. Um, we're four, I think it's four inch here. So if I want to connect that to this, then it's at the strongest point. I did not want to come out here where the, where the metal is just metal. I want it to connect it to this part where it's the strongest because that's where it's rivet or spot welded and spot welded to the frame to hold that. So I know that's where it's the strongest. Up here, I know it's the strongest because I can see it up here. So I just kind of measured in or put my square stock on 
And then I just plumbed it up and I knew that I would hit the strongest part of this inside construction. When I went to the back, I, when I went to the back, there was nothing really visible that I was going to connect to other than the chassis. Where I went four inches on this to hit this, my brain said, well, if I'm going to do four inches there, I might as well do four inches on the back. So now I'm four inches in the back and I have the one inch square stock going completely across. And what I'm thinking here now is, is that I'm going to run a piece down from the frame to hit that one inch stock so it holds my foundation up. Um, we're going to connect the foundation to the chassis today to make it stay in place. So this water pipe is coming out. That was a piece of pipe to put in there to hold things in place. This is going to be stationary and it's going to stay. When it comes to the front, I did not put this one in yet. I'm just going to, I'm going to do it as I show you. This one is at two and a quarter, and the reason it's two and a quarter because that's the place at the point where it's the strongest. So when I come to the front, I'm going to wheel that around. I'm going to weld, measure two and a quarter from there. I'll go to the other side. And I'll measure two and a quarter from there. And then I'll put this piece in. And the reason being is, is there's, there's no special reason why this is at two and a quarter here. It's because that piece there is two and a quarter behind the front wheel. I'm going to do two quarter in the front of the wheel. And then we'll connect it and we'll figure it out where it has to go. We have frame up top um, to make it secure to come down to. We will do something like that. But uh, what we're going to do right at the present moment is I'll connect. I'll connect this one in. And then we'll move on and we'll start connecting these to the chassis to support the foundation. All right, all right, all right. So let's get rocking and rolling here. Need my tape measure. Hope everybody's having a great Friday because I'm having a great Friday. I'm working on this project here. Uh, I know that for some, uh, it's probably a hard, it's a hard watch. And the reason being is there's nothing here to, to see. But give it some time and uh, we'll we'll have something to see we will it'll only take a little bit and then uh, you will get to see glasses um, you'll get to see it come to life and to me to watch something be built from nothing is where it's at and it won't take long we're at two and a quarter I'm just hold my tape measure up there I think I'm at two and a quarter back in the back let's check it out Two and a quarter. Close. Close enough. Two and a quarter on the other side. So this is the stuff that matters. Um, the foundation, if you're building something, um, from nothing, the foundation matters. Uh, and the reason being is everything is going to be connected to the outside foundation here and then built up, just like a house. And that needs, that needs to be, to me, it needs to be tight and right. And as strong as it, as it can be to hold what's going on. There will be other factors that are going to hold the framework to the to the body uh, if you want to think about it for a second we have a, a wheel well we have to make that's going to be tied in to the body in the back we've got a wheel well to make that's going to tie it into the body so that's more support um, all this will be supported by that inner wheel well construction inner wheel well construction those support that and uh, so on and so forth. Like every little thing that you connect, um, the stronger it will get. Now I've got. I'm just going to pull that up. Also, building something like this. 
We definitely did def I'm gonna knock that down because I could hold it up a little too high. We definitely want gap and everything. Definitely. And the reason being is is for penetration. Just want it flushed off a little bit better, that's all I cut that off. For. Flushed off a little better. So when that gap's in there, it, it gees for penetration so it's stronger. Also, this pipe is rounded off here nice, so that gives a nice place for the weld uh, to stick in. I'm gonna bring, try to bring this around here if I can to get, just tack the other side on. Stick with us, we'll try to get done as much as possible in this short amount of time that we film. And generally, we put the hour in, generally, and uh, we'll get done as much as we can just going to tack that for the second. Let's see if I can get over here. Ah, thanks, Jolene. You're the best. Jolene's the bestest. Got a gap on this side. It's flush fitting. Going to nail her. Nail her. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna walk, walk that one on. Gonna have to put this bad boy up on the hoist to finish all the welding from underneath. Sweetheart. So, yeah, I'll have to weld that all from the underneath. Watch your step. Gotta be careful. You get, you get stuck inside this thing, you can get your feet caught up. I have a couple times already this morning. And, uh, it's not, not very hard to trip. Not very hard at all. At all times when I'm building something like this, something from nothing, with no plans, I'm, I'm always thinking of, is it, is it gonna be strong enough um, to do what I want to do? And that's drive it around. If, if I want, you know, is it gonna be strong enough? And that's what you have to think of full time when you're doing something like this, because if you do not, then uh, you can, um, can I say, you can go, go very wrong. So where I have, where I have, I'm gonna move that for a second. Where I have um, this, like this right now, this is the place that I want to connect it to. First thing I think of is triangles. So um, what I'm going to do is, I'm not sure if that's doing anything or not. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my spare pieces or my pieces that I've cut off and see what I can make to do what I want. What I'm, what I'm thinking is, is if I, triangles, that would be a nice piece. I sort of want to move that. I sort of want to move that. Is that messing my level up? I don't think it is. I want to, so I'm going to 45 it there. 45, that's a triangle. We'll connect it there. Or that's what I'm thinking. That will not let it fall. Let's do that first. Let's 45 this. I'm thinking, let's get my square, my triangle thing here. These are just spare pieces that I have. Once I get all these pieces out here, then I can use them up too, that are underneath the wheels. Just wanna look at that again. I'm going to 
do this. Do, do, do. Cut that off and then see what we get. So I'm connecting the foundation to the chassis. If you're building, ever build something like this, you're going to have to do the same. That's the strongest point. We're at spot weld, you know it's spot weld to the frame. We're just gonna 45 that down there. See what see how it fits. Oh, cut the wrong way. Uh, that's a shame, but I did. Wasn't thinking, was I? Was not thinking. I was just cutting. Might have cut it too short now, but we're going to use it. Nope, going the other way. Sometimes that can get confusing. Didn't want to do that, but I did. I'm going to tell you all a little secret. It doesn't matter if it goes to top. I think I want it to the outside though. I'm gonna tell you all a little secret. It's Jolene's birthday tomorrow. Wish her a happy birthday. That's the comment for today. Wish her a happy birthday. Where that's right against the inside of that, so that would be the strongest point that I figure that that could go against the body. And that's why I wanna put it there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trace this one off and give myself another one for the other side. Not sure exactly. Probably should trace a bunch of Cut this one. Actually, this actually should be the pattern. I should keep this one here and just keep tracing them off on the stuff that I find. Go here. I like to generally use the same one uh, for the pattern because it doesn't grow or get smaller. It, it actually stays the same. I got an odd angle on that. I'm just wondering if I'm going to get it. Yeah, I'll get it. I think I'll get it. If I don't, well. That's just 
and nag here a little bit. back a little bit all right Jolene you want to pause that bad boy for a minute I'm gonna go and have a nervous pee she washed it and let it go see that yeah. you film right now yeah. oh cool yeah Fina chased that most outside too funny all righty so I got my pattern there I'm going to we're gonna pluck one in here uh, and the reason being is because it's ready to rock and roll Just looking at it, what I want to do is, this is what I want to do. <clears throat> For the strongest application of a, of a gusset, you would want to make, that it's, make sure that it's straight or plumb. You know, if it's twisted, well, you're not going to get the strongest application. I'm just going to take her to the top. And that seems to be it. Get the welder going. Should have marked that, and that way there I didn't have to do that. Put my gloves on. Yeah, just gonna do that again. I'm just gonna tack. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna tack it here. Just gonna move it up a little bit so we get a little bit of room to tack. Sometimes that happens when you don't get your... All kinds of work. There we go. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna put this down here, put this right. We'll plumb this end up right, with the bottom with the bottom piece. That's how we're going to plumb it. Now you can do it different than what I'm doing it, that's for sure. I mean, this is just the, just the idea I'm having, you know. Um, there's more than one way to do this, obviously. But you know what makes you the happiest when you do things your way? <laughs> that's for sure. And this is the funnest thing about building something, is that you get it to do it your way, and you get to use your brain on how you'd like to do it. Now, now I've got that connected there. I've got it connected really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something else to make it a little bit stronger. I'm going to get back into the, the square stock. Uh, on this square stock, metal is very expensive. Yes, it is. Uh, I don't know how many 
just want another piece of, if I have another piece that's laying around, I could make another piece out of it. Instead of cutting new piece, I'm going to use that stuff also, but I'm right at the present moment. I'm just looking for anything. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I've got a pattern for the back. Um, I'm going to get it. Let's use the measuring tape, cut a piece off. What I'm looking for now, where that's like that, this, this holds um, this to the 90 and a half that holds this out. This here holds it out also and up. Now I want to make it really strong and make a piece that goes from here and lay it against this piece, well to this piece, up here and then onto that piece. So we really have a nice strong gusset. So if I cut something that's we'll say 16 inches, give me a little bit to cut off. If I cut something 16 inches, I'll have it long enough to mark to put in there. Sixteen. I'll take them off again. It's going to be a little bit of a confusion for a second or two until I get my groove. And what I mean by my groove is the quickest way to get it rock and rolling. So probably my quickest way to get it rock and rolling would be to cut one, make a pattern, and then cut four more because I'm going to have uh, four more places I got to go. So let's see what happens. Just for strength, and only for strength, is I'm going to weld that completely on there like so. I'll probably do each one individually, and the reason being is because some of that stuff, this one here, is kind of laying in a little bit. You can see, and that's, that's not me, that's, that's, that's them. If you want to come back here, this one here is kind of laying out a little bit, like it's turned out a little bit. Um, this one here, you can see that this piece is down below that a little bit. You can see if I laid something on flush there, it would not, it would not come out here. You come down this end, see how See how where they connect the metal? See how we're a quarter inch above? You know, it's kind of telling you that, you know, as, as I build something, if I'm out a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch, it tells they're out an eighth there below, and they're out there a quarter. So it makes it, makes it uh, okay, or to me it makes it okay, that if you're out a little bit, it does not affect much. Um, they sold it, they drove it. Nowadays, it's quite, you know, every car's. Now I get that in there like that. I want to get that tight up against that. Does not matter to me if it's got the gap there, it just means more penetration. Tight on this down here. Get it straight. Get it back there tight on that. You know, tight as possible. Get the welder going. <clears throat> I'll just tack it in place. Because it will take off if you.
Alrighty. Let's weld this up. I'm letting it stay on the pipe that has not got the cut in it. I'm welding there more to build that material. And then I can run it over to where the pipe I've cut so I can fill it in. So what I'm saying is um, when I had that, you know, it wasn't the greatest of cut obviously, but I'm holding the, the welder up on this piece to build up more material and then I just run it down to hit this piece because of um, the cut. So I was building up material, molted metal, so I could run it down on that piece. Now this piece here is where I want to connect it. I think it's... I can weld it solid. And I might. But just to let you know, if I do not, they spot welded it. So that means that you can spot. Well, it gives you, it gives you a, a something to work off of, you know. What you see from other vehicles, you can do the same yourself. If not, well, I don't know. Now, if you want to come over this side, sweetheart, just for shits and giggles. I've got quite a gap going on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that welder up on this piece as long as possible, and then, then run it down on that piece uh, to fill that gap. That's what I'm... Welded it in very nice. Very nice. Not as nice as Jolene, but nice. Get down here and tuck this one on. See very good. We'll tack this down the side. If I'm not interested in keeping it packed, I can always come back and fill it in as well. So, now I have this piece coming down to hold that. Uh, this piece here is holding, the, this piece here would be holding the distance out. Uh, that would be gusseting. So um, I'm, I'm thinking that, well, I know that would be very strong to step on. I'd like to get the other side done before I start stepping on it. But if I step on this side, it would try to, if you think about it, if I step on it, it would try to pull that off. You'd have to pull that off to bend that. Um, and with this here, you'd have to bend this piece here to push it over and if I have both sides done that means you'd have to bend this piece and that piece to push it over um, and if you were going to uh, bend this down you'd almost you'd have to bend this piece here and bend the two pieces over there to get that over so that to me um, that piece of that foundation on this side to hold this on is super strong Let's do this one. And we'll have to do, well, I could probably do the front one there too. We'll just keep going along here. Um, what, what's going on is I'm gonna have to do each one of those all the way around. So this one's gonna have to be done straight down, straight down there, gusset. 
and we'll do this one. Got a 16 incher. And these were put in, um, only the reason they were put in at two and a half there is because I had this construction in behind, exact same as the back piece. I'm not going to try to make this at four. And when I'm, I basically wanted them, actually I could have, um, I could have ran this one back a little further because we're connected on this side, but I did not. I did not. We're going to cut a 16 incher because we know that's what we need. Markers in my pocket. And the quicker you get it done, the quicker the foundation is ready to pull them ladders out and hold things in place. That little mouse can't make up his mind. He's going to live outdoors or inside. Huh? This is my pattern. And the reason take this off. Seen a comment on there, he said, he uses a lot of zip cuts. I build a lot of cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I didn't build a lot of cars, I wouldn't use a lot of zip cuts. If you don't build any cars, you probably wouldn't use any zip cuts. Um, there could be a little bit of difference in that piece to that piece, obviously. But we're going to go with it and see what happens. It does not matter also because this piece here is going to be um, not seen visibly um, to the eye because it's going to be an inside construction. Reason being is is because there's going to be sheet metal out here and there's going to be a wheel well in here. It's inside construction to hold it in place. If you watch the video to the end, I'll explain my vision of what I'm thinking of now. It's, it's like I told Jolene at first, um, the, the doodle bug truck was an inspiration it inspired me see I'm a little bit different there um, yeah I'm different there so that's what happens but that's okay we're still in the same vicinity of what's going on not going to be seen it's inside construction still going to do the same thing though this down here first right on right on cue and I need my glasses this is you can see where it's spot weld inside that's inside construction 
That's where I want it to go up against to make it strong. That's where it looks good. I'm going to pluck her on there. Let's pluck this bad boy on. I'm going to nail the top of this, this, this thick metal here, and I'm going to melt it over to that. Um, what I'm going to do. Maybe the bottom one. Thickest metal, melt it over. Not thinking about um trying to make it as pretty as possible you know I'm trying to weld it up as good as possible basically but what I'm trying to do is make sure that everything sticks um, that's basically it I want everything to stick really good I probably will not grind I will not grind any of that off and the reason being is I want all the strength and there's no need to grind it off like I'm, I'm what, what what would I be grinding it off for it's on the inside nothing's gonna be seen so I'm gonna have to do um, one, two, three, four. So I have to do eight places where it's going to hold that out, the uh, outside uh, foundation on the chassis. That in place, sort of. Carry on line. another one in. Once I get um, close my eye, just want to tack it in place, and then I'll do the top. Rub against. Good. Let's do this one. Just looking for it to stick the best it can. Do 
it down here. Be on that one but that's fine now you can see that would be very strong um, for that um, in place we I might there might be something going on here in the center but I really want to just connect the outside ones for now or the ones that I have in place I just want to connect those ones for now and the reason being is I know there's an inside construction there that uh, deals with my issue that I want and that's the strength going to take and knock this and clean this out for a second. So when you get home tonight, you get to work on your project. Nothing better. In my opinion. Stop it. Why is it? I got it hot, that's why. She's hot. Just like Jolene. Jolene's birthday tomorrow. Wish her a happy birthday. Hoping that that's. And if you want to buy a welder, buy a Lincoln. I've made many cars with a Lincoln. A Lincoln. Alrighty. I have. Uh, pull this bad boy out. Need that. What I need there now is. Um, what I'm thinking here on this one, I've got that stuck in there. And what I'm thinking on this one here is what I'm gonna do is, is I'll go from the frame down to there. And then I'll go from the chassis out to here. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick this in here. And then I'm gonna mark. That's what I'm thinking. To give me the strength that I need. I do not want to affect. Just gonna draw a line on this. Sometimes this square is not a bad, not bad, you see that? Not bad at all.
I don't worry about the cuts, if they're perfect or not, because you've seen what happens if they're not. You just continue on and make the best of it. I'm gonna cut that one a little bit shorter, obviously. I'm gonna cut that one a little bit shorter. And I'm gonna to want to line that up and do the best job I can there. We're gonna cut that one a little shorter. by looks good put a little jolene in it so we're just going to clean up there so it can weld on that chassis nice Fine. I'll tack it down here and then I'll eye it up with the piece going across and get it the best I can. Actually, I can put the level on it. I can get it. Should be able to get it. Plumb it up, flush it up down here. I wonder if this one fits better. Half dozen one the other. That one fits better up there, obviously, because it feels better. I'm tack it on down here. We'll get our Nice to have a little bit of a, a light going on. But.
awesome. It's hard up against that floor. So you know, it could not be shoved up because you'd have to rip that floor off. It's going in there. Now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shove a piece in from the frame down to this. So we get the same effect that we have on that side. I'm gonna, if I need to keep that as a pattern or not. Um, Check it out on the other side and see what happens, see if it's close. Because we know that it's all different. You can see that that is not bad. Way different. All right, so we'll make our own pieces of another piece on that side. All right, cut this off straight. Bum, 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 bum. Gas tank right there. Not real special with that. <laughs> I watched that one last night on uh, on YouTube or, or not YouTube on Facebook. Uh, buddy was welding up a gas tank. He had a, no shirt on or nothing. Welding up a gas tank, and all of a sudden you couldn't see anything. He was gone. <laughs> uh, it must have blew up, obviously. All right, you know what I'm doing there. I'm just going to leave it as that. I've got, a, I've got one I'm going to pull in from the frame. I'm going to go down from the frame down to here, which is not going to affect my leaf spring any whatsoever. Not, not whatsoever. Um, from there up, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. The back is not, um, it's just kind of holding it there. I'm kind of, I'm changing gears a little bit from what the original doodle bug looks like. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna tell you where my, where my brain's at for this bad boy. Um, this is where my brain's at. As I get thinking about it, I like, I like this. And then in the back, I do, I'm not going to do what they did. I'm gonna swoop it down like this, I think. Maybe not as much. Maybe a little tail going on there. I'm not sure, but I like the idea of fender skirts and the reason being, I think it would really close it off nice. I guess your wheel will be underneath here, but I'm not sure of the fender skirts yet. And I also like the design. I've been looking at a few toys and uh, I like the toy that, Like the paint scheme, maybe, like something like that, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Windows will be up here. Um, that back there. Not sure. Not sure. Obviously, and another thing, too. Um, I was actually, the motor, I'm thinking about putting in, well, I'm going to put it in the middle. And the reason being is, why not? Haven't got a, we got a one with the, in the middle? The Green Goblin. No, it's in the back. Oh. I guess, I mean, in the middle, in the back, whatever. Um, we're going to put the motor in the middle, so the motor's going to be in the middle of the chassis. Um, yeah, the Green Goblin's in the very back. Okay. Um, also, I'm thinking I might have, I might have the exhaust coming out, um, out through the middle here. The door will be able to open to look in at the engine. 
we're going to um, sit right here. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to sit right here somewhere. Going to be like a little, maybe a little bench seat of some sort. Maybe we can move a little bit. Not sure yet. I think I'm going to sit here. Uh, steering box is going to be moved. The steering box is going back. I think I'm going to put the steering box right here. Just I'm just thinking out loud. Steering box is going here. Pitman arm is going to be here. Uh, to steer that, we'll carry on from there. We'll do it as, I guess we'll show you as we do it. And hopefully we can move along fast enough that you stay um, interested. But once I get all four of these put in, then things start to, uh, I'm, I'm able to release this stuff, um, which is able, enabling me to um, start building up. So once the um, foundation is tied on, and I think it's tied in there right and tight, then we'll start building our walls. I'm thinking that we're only gonna come about yay high on the sides, and then, so we're not going to be six feet. We might, we'll possibly be about, we're going to be about, we're going to be about five feet, maybe even a little shorter. So this, this thing is really going to be out of proportion. And the reason I say that is because the roof is going to be, yeah, we're going to be about five feet maybe. So it's really going to be wide, but it's going to be round and it's going to look very low. So we're building... I guess, a full-blown custom inspired by the Doodlebug. All right, everybody, have a great Friday. It's Joey's birthday tomorrow. Wish her a happy birthday. Throw in a comment. Uh, like, subscribe, um, comment, and come back tomorrow. We'll be here. See if we can get all these um, pieces put on, and then we'll start moving on to something different. Have a good one.